have heard on her Sweetly singing o'er the plains And the mountains in reply Echoing their joyous dreams Good morning, this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel And today I'm going to fix some soup um, It's been cold outside and I've been wanting some soup And I am just hurting so bad. I guess it's my arthritis. I haven't felt like doing anything. Plus, my nurse, Dana, oh, not Dana, but um, Jamie did not pass the background check, so I cannot hire her. And that has just totally tore me up. But anyway, today I'm going to fix some soup. And I don't know what this is, what kind this is. I'm just going to put together a bunch of stuff. But the first thing that I'm going to do is I've got five pounds of ground chuck right here. And I'm going to cook this in my, it's in my Ninja Foodie. And I'm using my Mix and Chop or whatever it's called. Um, I've got this listed in the, down in my um, links to get at Amazon if you'd like to. This is a pretty cool thing. Um, but anyway, I'm cooking the, the ground chuck, five pounds, and then I'm going to split it into three portions. And one portion is going to go in the soup that I'm making today. So I am putting a bunch of different stuff in this. It's going to be like a... <laughs> minestrone but I'm not even sure if minestrone has meat in it but I'm putting um, ground chuck in, in mine and a bunch of other stuff I've got to cut up and I'll bring you back when I get ready to do that but right now we just got to cut this I mean cook this ground chuck and then split it up and then I'll bring you back okay y'all alright the hamburger is still um, cooking here it's on saute, and this is the Ninja Foodie, eight quart. And so, I'm gonna bring you over here, I'm gonna turn you around, bring you over here and show you what I'm doing over here. All right, now, in the soup, I have got five big carrots. Then I'm going to peel and then chop them. And I like my vegetables to be in big pieces. So I'm not going to just, um, you know, pulverize these vegetables. I'm going to cut them up into like bite-sized pieces. All right, and I have two onions here. I've got one large zucchini. I've got one yellow bell pepper. This is helping me get rid of stuff out of my refrigerator. I've got one yellow squash, and I've got a punch of celery because I love celery in soup. I would say, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stalks of celery in here. So I got more celery and carrots than anything else, but that's okay. I'm going to cut it all up, and the, while the ground beef is still, um, ground chuck is still cooking, and then I'm going to put it all in this bowl right here because I've still got to drain the ground chuck and split it into three different um packs of you know for other meals so i will bring y'all back okay y'all i'm back all right so i wanted to show y'all the size of the carrots um the, how i cut them up see i at the very top the piece was so big usually that i had to cut that in half and then here's the other pieces it just kind of varies. Like I said, I don't want um, them to be little. I want them to be diced so I can, you know, each one will be like a bite in this. All right, and so I'm going to do the same thing with the zucchini, the same thing with the squash. Um, the celery probably won't be this big. 
I don't know. I'll bring you back and show you the celery. And then the onions and the green pepper. Well, it's orange pepper. The orange pepper, they'll just be regular size or whatever. All right, so I wanted to show you, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. All right, so this is how I'm splitting this up. So um, I, I could, do not know where my scales are at, so I could measure it. So I've just got three plates, and hopefully I've got about the same in each one. I don't know. It'll, it'll work, though, because um, I've got two meals this week that I'm going to use two of these for so and then one's going back into the um, Ninja Foodie for this soup that I'm making all right so like I said these are I'm gonna let these cool off and then I'm going to pour them into some Ziploc bags and they will go into the fridge for this week and then right now I am heating up well I thought I was I forgot to push a button I am heating up um, a well, I, I think it's a half a stick of butter. I'm not sure what this. Um, I've got this. What is this? Kerrygold butter, and I think that what I put in there was a stick. This is an awful big stick. Of, if it is a stick of butter, it's really big. And then I've got all my vegetables. Let me show you if I can lift this. <laughs> okay, it's got everything in here. I've got my, there's my squash and zucchini and carrots and celery and onions and peppers and what else is in here? I can't, oh, the carrots, I say carrots. All right, so everything is in here except I'm going to saute those vegetables and then I have this head of cabbage and that's going to be the thing that I put in right before I pressure cook the, this stuff so I will bring you right back okay so I'm letting the this heat up and then I'm going to pour oh gosh this bowl is heavy I'm gonna pour all of these veggies in here. And I'm going to just let these saute until they are soft. Well, pretty soft. Then I'm going to cook them in the um, pressure cooker for like five minutes or so. And, but I've got some other stuff to put in there, so I will bring y'all back in a little while. Okay, y'all, the, these have been sautéing for about eight minutes now, and um, I can smell them really good in my house. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this brown chuck in here. All right. All right, and then I have, let's see, how do I want to do this? I have two cans of chickpeas or gar garbanzo beans, same thing. And I've got one can of hominy that I've rinsed off. Now, I've never used hominy. I've had these cans back there for probably over a year or whatever and so I'm just going to try them I've never eaten gar garbanzo beans or chickpeas but I've got a bunch of cans of those back there too that I was going to do things with and so I'm just going to go on and use these and see what they'll like in this soup alright so there's that alright and then I'm going to put a can of this is a 14 and a half ounce can of stewed tomatoes oh, smell good and then I have a can of tomato sauce that I'm going to put in here all right 
stir this up. I don't want it to stick. All right, now I'm going to put my spices in here. I'm going to put two teaspoons of salt in here because I'm getting ready to put pasta in here and that's going to eat up a lot of the salt. So I'm putting, this is two teaspoons of kosher salt and that's probably not going to be, I'm going to go, go on and do two and a half. Yeah. All right, and then a teaspoon of coarse ground black pepper. All right. And then I'm going to put some granulated onion powder. If I can get the top off. All right. I'm going to put two teaspoons of that in here. And all of this will be down below in the description box of the, the spices that I used. All right, I'm going to use a heaping teaspoon of granulated garlic. Only because it's probably going to need that. And I've got one hunk right there of it. That's just, I'm going to put that in and then mash it up. All right, so there's that, and then I've got, um, see what else, oh yeah, I'm going to use the Greek seasoning, Cavender's all-purpose Greek seasoning, I'm going to put a teaspoon of that in here. And I'm going to put a little bit, just a little bit, a couple shakes of red pepper flakes just to give it some spice. All right, and that's all that's going in there as far as that goes. Now I'm going to put the broth in here. Oh, shoot, I forgot to cut up my cabbage. Might not have enough room for the cabbage. All right, so I'm putting in 32 ounces of chicken broth. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough room for the cabbage. All right, let me stir this up. Yeah, I'm going to have to go and get about a cup of water because I'm going to put some shells in here. I'm going to use, I was going to use diddling, but I can't find it. So I'm going to use small shells. I'm going to put about, this is a pound, 16 ounces. I'm going to put about a cup and a half of this in here. But I'm going to go and get a cup of water and I'll be right back okay y'all I'm back all right so I put in um, one more cup of water and then I tasted the broth and it's just perfect it seems all right so here's one cup of the noodles or shells whatever and I'm gonna put in one and a half cups of this all right and now I'm going to put, let me get these shells under the, the water. <clears throat> All right, now I'm going to put the lid on, and I'm going to pressure cook this for, right now, okay, there it goes. Well, there it goes. All right, I'm going to pressure cook this for eight minutes. 
I maybe let's. I don't know six. Maybe we'll do six. Um, all right. So I'm gonna put pressure. All right, and then I'm going to go ten, and then go. I'm gonna go down to seven, and then push start. All right, and now when this is finished, I'm going to take it down immediately, and I will bring y'all back, and we're going to see what this tastes like. Okay, I'm back. All right, I changed the time on this to four minutes, because I was thinking about it. It's been um, sautéing and all this, and I, it's not going to take that pasta in, in no eight minutes to cook as as small as it is so I changed it to four minutes and when it gets ready I'll bring you back okay y'all all right I'm back all right so this cooked for four minutes and it looks amazing the only thing I think the squash and that's always a problem that I have squash cooked too much but I think everything else look at that Oh my gosh, of course, I'm going to have to let this cool off for a lot, a long time. Um, I want to make sure that I get gar the garbanzo beans and, God, that's a big bowl of soup there. All right, so I'm going to let this cool off and then we're going to taste it and I'll bring y'all back. Okay, y'all, all right, here's my bowl of soup. I cannot wait to try this. I put a little bit of cracked pepper on it. Um, the onions are just perfect. They are just perfect. Let me... They've got a little bit of texture to them, but they're still soft. The noodles are perfect. The garbanzo beans, chickpeas, whatever you want to call them, they really are good. This is the first time I've ever eaten them, and they've—they're really good. I had to—I had to sneak a bite, y'all. This is very, very hot, but I wanted to try it. Mm mm mm. You know what needs to be in here, and I didn't think about it until just now, but. Um, pepperoncinis or banana peppers in in here, right? I, I mean, with them like this, I need to go in there in the refrigerator and get some and put them on top here. And I think that would give it an amazing taste. This is really good. I love just throwing things together in a in a crock pot or a, my ninja foodie or my instant pot or whatever i love it and seeing if you know if it tastes good because most of the time things we you know we think about and put together most of the time it does taste good oh oh wow that was extremely hot y'all burnt my mouth Oh, and spilt it on my shirt. But it, let me let me zoom y'all down in here so you can see. All right, so here's the garbanzo beans. There's two of them. Here's the um, hominy. Is that what it? Hominy, hominy. I can't remember now. Whatever, whatever it was. There's squash, there's celery, there's the stewed tomatoes. I don't see any zucchini in here. And of course the carrots, there's a piece of pepper. It is really good. I am just, I needed this. I needed something comforting to you know, to warm you up because it's chilly outside. All right, so if you like this video, 
Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Look below for links to my Facebook, my Twitter, to my Instagram. And also um, look below for links to different things that I use in my kitchen that you can purchase um, through the links. Some of the links have discount codes on them. Some of them don't. Um, but it's I do tend to try to put a lot of links below. So... I hope y'all have a good day, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing all the plains.